Good day, friends. Welcome to today's video. These aren't my hands. <laughs> They're my hands. They're Steve's hands. Hi, everybody. Is that all? Yeah. Oh, and we're done. <laughs> um, look, Steve's in the studio. And why are you in the studio, Steve? Uh, well, because uh, it was, was it the last, the last collage video, right? Mm -hmm. That you did this? So, um, the tutorial, yeah, collage the tu and illustration yeah, tutorial. That thing, James invited me to come to the voiceover, and so I was so fascinated by what he was doing, I wanted in on the action. However... And he was super sneaky, and, and, I was, and snuck it in at the end and said, maybe I should give it a go. Yeah. And I thought, well... Well, I didn't want to miss out. I really liked it. And so, <laughs> but the condition was that if you, um, that if we got 500 likes, that I would go ahead and do it. Yeah. And the reason I said that was because honestly, I wasn't looking to give myself any extra work to do over our very, very busy weekend. Right. And, uh, and I thought we wouldn't get there. I know, but, in, but the people have Lo spoken. Lo and behold. The people have spoken. People really wanted to see you do and it. And so I am a man of my word. And so I went ahead and I did it and it was fun. It was not easy. But, was it, what, what was not easy about it? Well, I just, I think what's really cool about it... You're trying to give away, you're trying to tell everyone that it's not easy. Well, it's not easy. The thing is that I just, you know, I think you have such a really interesting, fun, quirky um, point of view. And I would think I was a little bit more literal. And I didn't know exactly what I wanted. I knew I wanted a dress, but based on what I was, like, the materials given, I couldn't really, there wasn't one. And so I just decided to build one and create one. So I thought that was a creative way to do it. Was... Yeah. Look, being literal is not a huge problem. Being, like, having an inspiration and working off of something, you know, as long as you get to the end point, the only reason I would tell people to abandon that sense of logic is if it's stopping them from creating. Oh, okay. So, since you weren't hitting a roadblock, you were just being very picky, mm -hmm. I would say that's kind of different. Okay. Well... So, I think it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I guess I was picky. I was just really specific with what I think I wanted. And yeah, picky wasn't the right word. You're just very detail-oriented. Yeah, and then, like, I thought, you know, let's work smarter, not harder. And I saw one of the faces that James had put out for me, and I was like, oh. Well, one of my favorite movies is the live-action Cinderella, so let's do something that's kind of Cinderella-inspired. Because mm. one of the faces already had the hair drawn out. And I was like, yeah, okay. And so I just need to create a dress, find a body, put a head on. Done. Done. Simple, done. But and then was, the, at the end of the bargain was I had to do it. the photocopying, illustrate it, yeah. we'll trace it, <laughs> well, and, we, and, um, and paint it. Yeah. What was weird was that is like the proportions were off and James was like, it doesn't matter. Like it's, that's kind of the point. So you just kind of go with it. So I did. Well, yeah, you were, I think for a while, Steve was trying to look for the same head, but just smaller. And I guess you could have shrunk it in the photocopier, but the point of this whole uh, collaging and illustration is to get something a little unusual. Yeah, and to something that would not be what you would typically draw or see or figure out for yourself. Right, and just use the, the materials that were given to you. Yeah, so you, uh, you, I basically set Steve up for major success. <laughs> I had everything on the table he could cut up and glue and put uh, in the book. Yeah, and it helpful. was, um, it, it was like old books, like volume two, mm -hmm. misprints and, uh, prints that had registration errors and, uh, old orange grab bag bits. That, that little head is from an old orange grab bag, mm -hmm. which I don't do anymore. No. I, I know some people still ask. It's weird. I guess I never realized that having a video up on YouTube, people could watch it a year later and still think that oh, that's, available. that's available. Yeah. So I, it, if anyone has missed out, orange grab bags don't happen anymore because they were super labor intensive. Really? Oh. Well, you mean really? See, this is Steve doesn't help, so he doesn't <laughs> understand how much work goes I into mean, it. I, I, will I had say to get this. Stella over to pack I will, them. I will remember? say this. Yeah, that was a while ago. I will say that I did remember the first orange grab bags that you created were all like hand illustrated and drawn. Not and, all of well, there was an element in there that was hand right, illustrated. So I saw James literally just sit there for hours <laughs> drawing and tracing the same thing and over and over again. Too. It was super simple, but he was like, "I have RSI." <laughs> 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 Somebody call my mom. <laughs> yeah, no, it was um, it was a lot. And even when they all became, you know, I could use the guillotine to cut everything out. I still had to get the bags, still had to get the envelopes. Okay, still the had to guillotine. The guillotine. Oh, like the, oh, the, the paper, paper trimmer. Cutter. Yeah, the paper I call it the guillotine. Yeah, guillotine for some people is <laughs> like, you know, and Berlin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, was the head rolling. No, look, it was. It became super labor intensive. Not necessary. If you looked at ha like making one bag, I think you'd think, well, no, it's not. But times that by two hundred, yeah. I think you'll realize that you know it, it was eating into way too much of my time. And um, I just thought we could be more efficient if I had it manufactured, which is where the fragments came from. Oh, so it's essentially the same same idea. It is. It's just not so random. I was a bit more precise with how I themed the fragments, but I think I'm going to loosen it up a little bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Change it up. 
I really want to do a sketch flicks fragments pack, Ooh. but I'm not quite sure if I want to do what I just drew during the session or if I want to refine the ideas and make them. Why don't you do both? No. <laughs> Well, Steve here, is ladies. delusional. You heard it here, ladies you, and gentlemen. Steve literally <laughs> thinks I have 400 hours in a day. No, no, I say you take bits and pieces that you want to refine and then refine those. Right. And then I, that makes the rest sense. of it and just stick to go. A mixture. Whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, both to me meant both. Here's, okay, this is a, a peek into our relationship. <laughs> James is incredibly literal, logical, black and white. Yeah, so if you know that, why would you say those things? Well, and if you know that I'm not that way, then you would understand exactly what I'm saying. It's not my job to interpret your English into my English. Oh, stop it. Anyway, <laughs> back to the collage. Um, see, look, now I went on and done five because since I set all that stuff up for Steve, I was very jealous that he got to play. Oh, so now you had a FOMO. I had FOMO, yeah. and, I, and I wanted to play. Look, I was work smarter, not harder, right? I'm yeah. not going to put all this away just to get it back out again and make, you know, sure. a part two. I get it. I wanted to play with it right then and there, and you look like you're having so much fun. I was. So I thought even if I didn't get around to illustrating some of these in the video, I would at least have them for the next time I, I felt like uh, participating yeah. in my own project. I will say I did have fun. It's just not, it's not uh, what I'm typically used to doing. So I think after the one, I was like, all right, I'm good. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, a bit, I mean, could you appreciate what the what it was for? Yeah. Because no part of you would have ever kind of conceived that, no. that, that idea. No, I think it's fun. I think it's also an interesting way to change up whatever you're typically used to doing, mm. to use extra bits and bobs that you have lying yeah. around. And it's just, it gives it a, like a, a new fresh start. It's like fashion. Yeah. And look, it, it doesn't have to be you know, literal, exact. I do the copy and I do the tracing just because I want to show you that it really doesn't have to be anything more than that. I know some people see tracing as cheating. maybe cheating. You know I couldn't care less. So <laughs> it's a means to an end for Everybody me. Everybody trace, traces. Even like animators, they trace. They tra yeah. like to create the cartoon, like the movement in the cartoon, they trace over the original sketch. Yeah. I don't know why there's such a big stigma about tracing, but I, I pull that light pad out. If I Here's the thing. I have dedicated most of my life to drawing mm -hmm. and being creative. So yeah. I know that if I needed to draw it, I could draw it. And here's, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. Like literally the pieces that were collaging were pieces I did draw right. so once upon a time. Yeah, you're drawing over your own drawing. So, so yeah. I'm, I'm essentially just tracing over my own drawings already. So I know I could do it if, if it really bothers you. Let's just say that I'm capable. But I couldn't. <laughs> but I didn't want to spend four hours to replicate something if I could just... It, that wasn't the point of this. Work smarter, not harder. Yeah. The point wasn't to, uh, you know, improve my technique in drawing. Right. It was to actually improve the ideas and the concepts. Yeah. And that's why we came, you know... Well, up. and I think the creativity also comes... More on in like uh, more later on, not more on. Uh, later on. <laughs> in the um, more on. <laughs> in like in the painting and the shading and, the, and and everything that you do. Yeah, but we'll see in a little bit. Let's talk about that. Okay. Let's talk about uh, the headspace I got into. So I I heard Steve <laughs> say it was Cinderella. Okay, so he goes, "What is this?" I go, "Well, it's Cinderella inspired, but do with it what you will." And okay. So, so I miss the do with it what you will. But I was also thinking like Steve, and Steve is very, very refined, very classic, very true to form. Like you wouldn't, I wouldn't say, he wouldn't say this is Cinderella and then I'd do a, you know, a green dress. He'd be really angry. Yeah, that would bother me. But um, <laughs> I do like the, how he um, really went in on the, on the, fa the details in the face and the shadow on the highlight in the face is really, really pretty. Um, and I know he added some like, I like the, the, uh, the dimension in the blue. Um, I guess I was just thinking that he would add some like gold sparkle in there, but he didn't and it's okay because it's still really pretty. My theory is he saw the gold sparkle on the other ones and then felt like he was missing out. Well, yeah, that too. Um, <laughs> but here's the thing. When I was doing this with uh, this one, it felt like a collaboration. It felt like I was working for or with Steve. And so my headspace was in that, Client. what would Steve want? Uh, okay. And it was less in what would I do mm. kind of a mode. So that's where I think we came to this weird happy medium, which ended up being very literal, which is something I haven't done in ages. I don't think I've colored a woman like an actual woman in ages. <laughs> James is not very literal at all when it comes to his art. I mean, look at this one. <laughs> it looks which like is, a kangaroo stuck in a cactus blossom. Which like, is so interesting because you're so literal in so many other ways, except when it comes to your art, you're not. This must be my release. Maybe. Well, anyway, so I, I did find it interesting when Steve pointed it out, um, not so eloquently at first, but <laughs> I found it interesting that I was much more reserved with the with the coloring style on his. So I uh, made it a bargain, not a bargain. A bargain, okay, what? 
Oh. Well, I thought it would be a good idea. Okay, what's your idea? Uh, because I didn't want to redo it. At this point, I had done a lot. Right. Uh, I thought I would scan it. Okay. Scan your original. I'm posting it in the Burke Meets Creative Outlet Facebook group. Oh, okay. Which is linked below. Okay. And I will get... Anyone that wants to give it a go in there, they'll have access to the original the, the original collage. And let's see how, how crazy they go. Okay. That's Just fine. because, and I mean... Well, are we looking crazy or are we saying well, take we want, the literal but expand on it? We want the live action Cinderella. As your inspiration. But we want that, you know, eclectic mixed media art journal girl style. Yeah. Okay. Mixed in there. Thrown sure. in. We want to take it to where this one is. Like what we're watching right now. Yeah. Like... So, you can, you can, yeah. A bit more. Uh, expand on it a little bit. I guess we're just looking to turn the volume up. There you go. So, uh, if you want to give it a go, I'm sure Steve would love to uh, check it out. Well, He's not? a lurk mate. He's always in that group looking I'm at looking, things. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I do, I actually know, I, I read pretty much, I read everything. I watch the videos and I... He I'm, sends me screenshots. I do. <laughs> like, wow, this was amazing. Yeah, so, I, um, so I'm going to put that this. in there. And if you, if you want to give it a go, I'm sure Steve would really appreciate it. Um... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Please do. I like this owl woman that you have. See, this is what's super interesting because my brain doesn't work like this. You took like an owl body and then the owl head as the as the purse, but then you made the suitcase like the dress, yeah. the dress with pants, which is so creative and like total like fashion. I, I can really see like it. it. I really like it too. Do you know what? See, my brain doesn't work like that. But neither does mine. Only in collage. I would never think to draw that. <clears throat> ever. Why would I ever draw a suitcase dress? Doesn't make sense to me. It might be fun to like see if you could make that like come to life. Like, get no. <laughs> Shut off the page. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Cuts a hole in a suitcase yeah. and just puts it on a woman's <laughs> walking waddling around. <laughs> um, no, the, the last one, that last image, my favorite part of it was the, um, the headpiece, the, uh, that, you know, the star mm -hmm. headpiece. Mm -hmm. I, when I cut it off, flipped it around and the made earrings. earrings. That was my favorite part, ironically. <laughs> so funny. It was such a simple part of that. But I think that's this is the, the best part of the tutorial, and this is why I wanted to share it, because I think it really does unlock your brain to do some really, really outside-of-the-box things. Well, I like even on this fin thing, on the fin that you have here, that you use part of the, um, the dress of the Swatch doll and made, like, an extra fun little... Yeah, like an extra fin. fin. Yeah. It's super-duper creative. I used the claw to be the fishtail, uh -huh. the crab claw. Even the little puffy stickers that I wouldn't use in an art journal because they bulk it up, and I don't really use... Mm. Anywhere, typically I don't use puffy stickers, but they made accents on the head that became a little headpiece. I just think that I feel like that's what this is for. I wonder what this would be like. What any of this would be like if we actually like brought it to life. I think it'd be really difficult. It'd be like a little zany. It'd almost be like uh, I feel like you're trying to hint at something, and I don't. <clears throat> no, want no, you no, to no, no, no. I just my, my <laughs> thing is like I, I try to think like what would it look like literally? What would it look like if we brought it to life? And I think it would be it would be really, really zany. And I don't know if it would work as well. Well, I think a lot of it is proportion. Yeah. And I don't, I think even when you do fashion illustration and you put that into a real garment, you find that a lot of the proportion that was in the illustration that made it interesting doesn't translate mm -hmm. to a human figure. Right. So... Like, can you imagine this? I mean... <laughs> It just wouldn't work. Why'd you cut her fit? Why'd you cut... Why'd you do I that? didn't like that. I didn't like the body on that. Are you kidding? It looked like Catwoman. I know. Like Michelle Pfeiffer. I know. I just didn't like back. the body. There's mine. Sindure, shindure, <laughs> <laughs> Japanese version. That's the Japanese version. Uh, P.S. If you haven't seen the live action Cinderella, uh, directed by Kenneth Branagh, uh, featuring, starring Lily James and Kate Blanchett, you should go see it. It's probably one of my top favorite movies. Um, yeah, I love that movie. I love it. I love it. The costume design, Sandy Powell, she won... Um, the costume, um, the Oscar. She scares me a little bit. Oh, she's intense, but you can tell that brilliant mind. When you watch the features on the, yeah. the Blu-ray about how she went and designed every last ballroom costume for 500 extras. Mm -hmm. And the, the and they were like all themed and... And the jewelry is, what, is it Tiffany's or is it... There um, was some on loan. A lot of it was costume yeah. jewelry, but there was some special Swarovski, Swarovski pieces that, yeah, on loan. That's just incredible. She's great. You're always recommending movies on here. Well, why not? While you're, while you're drawing, while you're doing art, you can have a movie in the background and maybe you'll just stop to watch Cinderella because it's so, it's so great. <laughs> you just put that cat just like... <laughs> well, I like the head. I but just you didn't, didn't like the body. You didn't paint it. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.